Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today, I'll be talking about um, betting on you, okay? Before I get into this video, make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I drop a new video. Comment down below any takeaways and share with somebody in need. Why? Because it's bigger than us. Now, if you are new to my channel, hey, how are you? My name is Tarisha Singleton. I'm a will investor for the kingdom of God. So today... God put it in my spirit. He said, when the last time that you bet it on yourself? Mm, what does that mean? When the last time that you invested in you and said, okay, I'm investing to this course. I'm going to invest in this book you told me to read. I'm going to invest in me. When the last time that you do that? I'm going to invest in my time. I'm going to invest and I'm going to get on that spiritual leadership. I'm going to invest in me. And I'm put me first. Instead of everybody else, I'm going to put me first. And I'm going to take care of me. And I'm going to self-develop. And I'm going to get the things that I need to get. Just allowing God. We have to allow God to work through us. We have to allow God to um, continue to push us. And continue to be a willing vessel. Meaning allow him to use you in any type of way for his will and not ours. See, God's going to do it, but he's waiting for us to do our part as well. And so I'm going to talk about me. When last time I invested in myself? I invested in courses. And now he's bringing me back for me to rewatch the courses. Because you don't just watch one thing one time. You have to continue to... Um, Listen and learn and grow and put repetition on new knowledge over and over again. I invest in myself when I watch videos that's going to feed my spirit. And so if you're watching this video right now, you invest in you. You invest in your time. Invest don't always mean money. It can mean time. Investing. Putting you first. When last time you said, okay. I'm going to get this for me. And that's something I have to work on. I have to work on and start make sure I take care of me. And I allow God to work through me. Get in the right environments. Get in the right room. Because God's put me there for a reason. And so if God's telling you to do something, do just that. You can't fix everybody. Matter of fact, you can't fix nobody at all. Excuse me. God is the one who can fix everybody. I used to think I could fix people. Because, oh, I'm uplifted, I'm encouraging them. But no, I know that I am not God and I can't fix nobody. And I have to work on my life. And then as you work on your life and people see how you're living and how you are being transparent and how you're being yourself, then they see that, okay, I can just be myself. That's the only thing I had to do. Yes, that's the only thing you had to do is be yourself, be you and put you first. And of course, put God first as well. Allow him to be the head of your life. Allow him to work to you. Through you, excuse me. Allow God to have his way. But you got to choose you. Betting on myself is the best thing I've done. And I'm still betting on me. Going to those rooms that make you uncomfortable. It's going to grow you. When I say rooms, I mean kingdom environments. I mean reading that book. I mean getting the seminars. I mean attending conferences. Get your mind renewed. Working on the inside of you. Yes, the outside is nice. But God wants us to work on the inside. Because God looks at the heart. God needs us to um, start getting healing from within. But it starts with us. Saying, God, I need your help. God, I can't do it by myself. I need you to help me. And so we have to lean on God. We have to know that everything he said, he means. He always said on his promises. That's one thing we got to worry about, God, because God going to always come through. But he's trying to see, will you come through? Will you bet in yourself? God believed in us. We didn't believe in ourselves. We was around the wrong people. God was still there. God heard a conversation that you did not hear. Listen, God got you. So bet on you. 
Love on you. Make time for you. We all have to work on that. I got to work on that too. And how do you do that? By putting one foot in front of the other and starting something. If he told you to start that business, start that business. Just trust him because know that he got you. He's going before you. He's laying down the foundation. Note your father's all knowing. Our father is all knowing, all powerful. He's everything that we need. So when you feel like you want to give up, don't give up. Stop and pray to God. Stop and come to him. Ask him to give you wisdom. Ask him to give you strength to keep going. Whatever you do, don't stop. Because you're making an impact in this world. People are attached to your obedience. You are here for a reason. And so pick your head up and keep moving. God loves you so much. He's proud of you and I'm proud of you too. For investing your time, investing yourself, being intentional with your life, taking notes. And don't just take notes from the videos. I want you to also put it into action. What action can I take today? And start drawing close to God. Okay? On this channel, I don't have it all together, but guess what? Our Father got it all together. And just like he's using me, he can use you too. Spend time with God and discover your gifts. Don't worry about what the world got to say. You focus on what God got to say. Because he got big plans for you. He said in Jeremiah 2, 9, 11. So know that he mean what he say. He said what he mean. But you got to want it too. It's a two-way street. We can't want God to do something and we're not doing it either. It's time for us to take our power that God has given us and to use it. And to share the good news so other people can be exposed to his word. And so I pray that this message bless you on today. I want you to have a great and prosperous day. And I want to say thank you to everybody that have subscribed to the channel. Well, you just viewing the channel, you're commenting. I thank you for commenting. I thank you for liking. I thank you for sharing with your family, your friends. I thank you because you're pushing out the word of God. And it's not for me. It is for God. I just want to say thank you for showing your time. Thank you for betting on you. And for not giving up. Even when times get tough. You got to keep going. You got to keep going. You got to keep smiling. Stop and smile. And see. Listen. Somebody's going through worse. And so be grateful what you got. I'm grateful for y'all. I'm grateful for God. Working through me. And I give him all the glory. And so be grateful today. And just smile. And count it all joy because God got you and what you're going through is not in vain. So God bless you. You have a wonderful day or night.